All right, check this out. You guys are back on the episode of Blue Devil Reactions. And what we have going on today is a video in Spanish, actually, Telemundo. Back in my day, it used to be Channel 52. Uh, that's back in the day in the hood. Uh, free, free TV, you know, Channel uh, 9 was KCAL. Channel 11 was Fox. 13 was KCOP. You know, anything beyond that was just garbage. Uh, what is this? Oh, El Momento del Ataque al Grupo Fuerza Regida en una Carretera de México. Uh, if you guys don't know, Grupo Regida, uh, Fuerza Regida, which is a, uh, a new upcoming group out of San Bernardino, California. Well, they're not up and coming no more. They're some superstars, right? Uh, I guess they got attacked in Mexico and one of the bodyguards got smoked. Now, I know it's pretty old news as well, like a few weeks old. Uh, people have been sending this shit all over the place right so we're gonna react to this video uh but before we do today is thursday the 7th uh salute to everybody that was tuned in yesterday when we did the uh when we dropped the uh call of duty uh gameplay so this is what we're gonna do because people love that video right we're gonna drop one gameplay a day today we're gonna play gta 5 online uh i'm gonna probably drop the, the video around like five o'clock six o'clock so pull up I'm going to start uh, streaming on Twitch as well, so I'll let you guys know when we do that. But daily, we're going to drop one gameplay. Uh, and other than that, this Friday, we're going to have ODM Slim in the building on the Haters Only podcast. Uh, after the podcast, we might go live for music requests. I'm not sure. If not, for sure, for sure, Saturday. All right? So with uh, no further ado, let's watch this video, and let's get you guys a Blue Devil reaction. Let's go. En otros temas se confirma ya la muerte de un miembro de la escolta del grupo musical Fuerza Regida a consecuencia del ataque armado que enfrentaron los artistas en una carretera de México. Vamos Damn. a pasar con nuestro colega Eduardo Meléndez para que nos traiga los últimos detalles y también reacciones. Eduardo, adelante, muy buenas tardes. Gracias a todos, buenas tardes. En efecto, hay un grupo delincuencial que mantiene en jaque a todos quienes tienen la imperiosa necesidad de transitar por esta carretera Puebla-Orizaba. En la zona de Cumbles de Maltrata, que es un perímetro donde hay muchas curvas, bueno, suelen atacar, suelen asaltar a todos quienes por ahí transitan y en esta ocasión no solo atacaron, sino que acabaron con la vida de un hombre. Es el Jorge Morales, quien era escolta era parte del equipo de seguridad de el, el grupo Fuerza Régida. Now check this out. To those that never been to Mexico and they're always saying the cartels, the cartels, the cartels. Yeah, the cartels are deep in Mexico, right? But listen, you got to be playing the game to sort of like know what's going on. If you're not playing the game and you're just an innocent bystander and you're living your life, you probably won't have no issues. You know, but I have seen a lot of cartel bullshit in Mexico. I have seen a lot of illegal activity in Mexico. Not being in the mix, but just seeing it, right? But I will tell you this. When you travel to Mexico and you're driving down the road and you see somebody flagging you down because they need help, don't stop. When you when you get a flat tire, don't stop. Keep driving. If somebody crashes your whip, don't stop. Keep driving. If somebody throws a rock at your car, don't stop keep driving like whatever you do don't stop don't stop i'll tell you like this in my young early days when i started going to mexico uh without my parents right i i, I used to always go with my parents but back when i started traveling into mexico at 18 years old by myself in my own whip uh one time i, I was you know me and the boys were hitting the uh all the bars and shit and uh one day we got pulled over and we heard the sirens and everything and we got pulled over and we pulled over and at that time I already knew though like carry your money in your in your sock carry like five ten bucks in your wallet whoop de woo right so we already knew right but we heard we heard the uh we heard the siren and then somehow a car got behind us with no lights and pulled us over and we got pulled over and they took what we had like five ten bucks no big deal we gave it to them whatever and then up the block, we got pulled over by an actual cop car, and we told him, and he was like, nah, that ain't no cop, homie. 
you know, that was uh, that was somebody robbing your ass, you know. Uh, and not that we told him, but he had asked us where we coming from. And we were like, we just got pulled over. And he was like, by who? There ain't nobody working down there. So we got pulled over by some regular motherfuckers, right? Luckily, all they took was like 20, 30 bucks, right? That's number one. Number two, those that ever been to San Felipe from Mexicali, because that's where I'm from, uh, there's a carretera that takes you all the way from Mexicali to San Felipe, right? At the entrance of Mexicali leaving to San Felipe, a lot of jackers post up right there and they'll throw rocks at your car or they'll try to get you to stop for whatever reason because they know you're traveling to the beach. So they'll they'll rob you or take your shit if you stop. They'll put roadblocks, all that. You know, so you just got to drive through the shit, not give a shit, you know, because if you stop, they're going to take everything you got. And I don't know how these motherfuckers don't know that. Que bueno, había tenido una presentación que regresaba específicamente hacia shit. el norte del país y que fue interceptado por este grupo delincuencial. Miren ustedes cómo es la forma en la que atacan. Ellos dirigen este rayo láser hacia los ojos, hacia la mirada sí. de quienes oh, sí, van conduciendo you. en la parte frontal de los eh, vehículos, provocan que se detengan y es ahí cuando los asaltan. Bueno, en esta ocasión no se detuvo el conductor. Sí, he just said it. They throw a rock at the car and make you pull over to be like, why the fuck you throw a rock in my car? And that's when you get robbed. I hadn't watched this video. I hadn't watched this video, but I already know because this happened to us a gang of times. You know, and these are just thieves, bro. These are not cartel. These are not like fucking high powered, you know, people. These are just criminal thieves from around the block. Because if it was cartel, bro, listen, if cartel wanted that group, they would have got that group. That's simple, bro. They would have blocked that group and took the artists and, and done what they done. But that wasn't cartel. This was just a fucking bunch of mugrosos uh, trying to get what they can. That's all it was. En consecuencia, estos eh, criminales dispararon en diversas ocasiones, provocando pues el estallamiento de los vidrios, del de parabrisas, de los vidrios laterales y también del de medallón. Lamentablemente, estos balazos también alcanzaron al señor Jorge Morales, que, mi, que murió mientras recibía atención wow. médica. Ya reaccionó el grupo Fuerza Régida a través de sus redes sociales, enviaron las condolencias a la familia de los deudos y bueno, también eh, se manifestó a través de su red social Instagram, Jesús Ortiz, que es el líder de esta agrupación, él colocó una fotografía donde a un costado se ve el señor Jorge Morales, quien formaba parte de este equipo de seguridad. ¿Qué han hecho las autoridades? Bueno, de momento se han comprometido en reforzar la vigilancia para evitar que estos delincuentes sigan azotando a todos quienes tienen por ahí la necesidad de transitar. Hey, shut the fuck up. Listen, he's seen a bunch of nothing. He said... For those that don't know, they asked him, what is the cops doing? And he said, they're trying to figure out what's going on to make it more secure, to make the block more safe. They're not trying to find who did it, bro. They're not going to find who did it. They don't give a fuck. They don't got time, bro. They don't They don't care. Like, really, they don't care. You know, that's why, listen, I don't want to get into that. I'll, I'll leave that for somebody else. Uh, but listen, they don't want to get into it. They're not going to find nobody. All these artists that go out there, I don't want to say artists, all these artists that go out to Mexico, uh, blind to the fact that they might not come back home, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know who your PR is or your manager, but you should know not to go to Mexico now. I know people are going to be like, oh, you scary ass motherfucker, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not about that, bro, but you already rich as fuck, right? You in the best country ever. Some can beg to differ, right? You're in the, in the biggest country ever. I don't say biggest. Let's say richest. Even though you motherfuckers might say China or Russia or whatever, right? But, but whatever. You know what I mean. You don't have a need to go to Mexico. You don't. And I know it's like I need to go to the motherland to show love to my people. I get that. But the thing is, your people ain't going to be there for you, my boy, when you get smoked. We all know what happened to Chalino Sanchez, you know. We all know what happened to uh, uh, Valentina Lizalde. Uh, and there's so many more, bro. There is so many fucking more that got smoked in Mexico and they didn't have to be there. Uh, when I heard this group was going to Mexico, I'm like, God damn, these youngsters don't even know what they're getting themselves into. Uh, and luckily, it was just a bunch of thugs. Because if it was uh, some, some heavy-duty motherfuckers that wanted you, 
They would have had you. You know? Let's go. Y también se han comprometido a detener al grupo de criminales que disparó en contra de estas personas a bordo de la camioneta donde dispararon y bueno, donde mataron al señor Jorge Morales. Viajaban cinco personas más que resultaron iles ilesas. Es lo que les tengo desde la Ciudad de México. Yo, that fool, uh, the main dude from Fuerza Regida, what's his name? Oh, JP. He lucky, bro. He lucky. That could have been the end of him and all for what? And I know for a show I get it like I understand but at the same time it's like you gotta play safe my boy and if that's not the move that's not the move I got some crazy stories to tell you guys from when I used to live in Mexico you know uh, what I've seen when I used to go to Mexico to go collect when I was playing the game you know and I was I used to live in the US but cross to Mexico to go make drops and, and deliveries and pickups and shit like that I seen some crazy ass shit that a lot of you fucks that never been out there probably will think I'm lying. You know, so maybe on the South Side Story. But other than that, look, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Comment down below, run it up, run up the likes, share the video. Uh, and other than that, it's been the Blue Devil Reaction, and we out. Blue Devil.